So here I am, just outside Stuttgart in Germany, this most amazing Beatles museum. I'm going to show you around. It is absolutely incredible stuff. Because the Beatles, a lot of stuff from Hamburg, also Mersey Beach stuff as well. So we start with St. Peter's Church. This one, the notice board from the original church where, of course, John and Paul met. A guitar like John first owned, painted by Eric Cash, of John in his bedroom. Little tributes there for Mendips, Menlo Avenue. And then it goes into the history of the Quarrymen. Its first photo, of course, that was taken by Charlie Roberts. In spite of all the danger, the moves on through Quarrymen history to the opening of the Casbah. It's got the photos and great memorabilia from those early days. But as well as doing Quarrymen and the Beatles, of course, also covers Mersey Beat. It's a lot of great stuff here. Tribute, obviously, for Rory Storm and the Hurricanes, the group that Ringo Starr was drumming with. But one of the main aspects is Hamburg. So there's uh, great memorabilia. A lot of it's come from as a Beatlemania exhibit in Hamburg that closed down. So Marcus has been able to get a lot of stuff from there. So it's amazing just as you walk through. Like a sign from the Kaiser Keller. You may have seen the, the taboo neon image from the Grosser Freiheit. Then this is the sound stage of this where I was playing with the quarry men. And all around the stuff. So from there, the Star Club, where of course the Beatles played in 62 three times. And we're going to have a look at this in a, a little bit more detail. So as you go up the stairs, there's some artwork, an original letter from Stuart as well. And then we really focus on the, the Hamburg years. So that's a, a view down the Grosser Freiheit. Focus there, there's Tony Sheridan and the band. All the stuff from the red light area of the Reaper Barn. And a tribute to the artist who create a lot of this artwork in Hamburg or around the Grosser Freiheit area. So and there's that taboo sign, you can see it on the painting. And there it is in neon lights. There's the uh, sign that would be outside the top 10 club. All the uh, Equipment like the Vox amplifiers and speakers. And this amazing collection of examples of all the guitars that the Beatles had through their career. It's just a phenomenal collection of guitars. I was very, very jealous. Would love to have some of those. And then uh, we work our way around. There's a great picture of Chuck Berry at the Star Club, which brings us on to the little Star Club exhibit with the sign. And then we move around to the first club that the Beatles played in, which of course was the Indra Club. And I love this bit. So this the, the colorized version of that photo from the very first night when they arrived at the Indra. And in front of the photo are the exact models of the guitars, the amplifiers and the drums that they all had. So John's Club 40, George's Futurama, Pete's Premier Kit, got Paul's Rossetti, Stuart's Hofner, and then the amplifiers as well. It's an amazing collection, which I absolutely love. Of course, there's uh, obviously a great focus on people like Astrid for those amazing photos she took in Hamburg. Some of the greatest ever rock photos, aren't they? Then, uh, of course, there's Klaus Vorman with his amazing graphic artwork that he did of Hamburg. Featured, of course, on the Bravo Blitz Tournament of 1966. And fell back, that's the area where this is. Here's Tony Sheridan, of course, the teacher, as he was known. A tribute to him. And, of course, a Pete Best as well. Then the basins. We've got a tribute for, for Nems. I'm really looking at the Cavern and the Merseybeat era. Famous photo of there. Film performance from August 62. You know, at the Cavern Snack Bar. 
Again, some great memorabilia that's been collected from the cavern. Uh, original and reproduction posters. Features on lots of the Merseybeat bands as well. He spends an amazing time getting all this together. Some stuff from Ringo's own personal collection, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Don't know how he's found the time to get all this together, but it, it's a wonderful exhibit. And there's a lot of very unique artifacts, posters, letters, postcards, even jackets that belong to Ringo are in this exhibit. All the stuff from the cavern, this was fascinating. Picture of Bob Waller, there's autographs, there's cavern membership cards. It's the first record recorded at Cavern Sound Limited. It's an incredible collection of memorabilia that has been collected over the years. Nice bit of uh, other people who played at the cavern. Look at those guitars. I mean, it's just amazing. And the amplifiers. Look at the backdrop that used to be at the cavern. Reproduction of the drum kits. Again, the, like the Rickenbacker and the Gretsch. A little tribute to Strawberry Fields with a piano that's been strung like it was on the video. I love that. Then we've got um, a Hesse sign, music shop where they bought all their equipment. And a close look at the Rory Storm exhibit. It's a great collection of stuff with the original posters as well and photographs. So it's nice that it's not just the Beatles, but there's so much else from Mersey Beat as well. So it comes with the Mersey Beat exhibit. There's a nice feature on Jerry and the Pacemakers. Very Cross the Mersey film, of course. The Undertakers, The Searchers. And there's so many great bands who often don't get mentioned. So I'm glad he's been able to do this as well. Nice little tribute to Liverpool. And other amazing venues and places in Liverpool connected to the Beatles. The Mersey Beats, what a great band they were. And the Trogs. And the Hollies. So now we're getting to some of the, the German posters of when they played over here. And who can forget the great George Martin, what he was able to create with the Beatles in the studio. Nice tape machine as well. Fabulous. Again, some of these uh, original reproduction posters from the time. We even got to see the Rattles perform the German Beatles. Here's a little bit of their set.
So if you want to find out any more, go to soundwork.net.